In 2026, the Chinese YJ-62 anti-ship missile remains one of the most effective ship-launched weapons in modern naval warfare, representing a key component of the People's Liberation Army Navy's long-range strike capability. Designed primarily for engagements against large surface combatants, the YJ-62 blends long-range cruising with precision targeting and a potent warhead capable of inflicting critical damage. The missile has been in service for several years, but recent upgrades in 2026 have extended its operational range, improved guidance accuracy, and enhanced survivability against modern shipboard defense systems. At its core, the YJ-62 is a turbojet-powered cruise missile with an initial solid rocket booster, allowing it to quickly accelerate off the launch platform and reach cruising speed efficiently. Its length and design give it a significant fuel capacity, enabling ranges between 250 and 400 kilometers, depending on the variant and flight profile, allowing Chinese naval units to strike targets from outside the effective reach of most enemy air defenses. One of the defining features of the YJ-62 is its flight profile. Unlike hypersonic or purely supersonic missiles, the YJ-62 utilizes a subsonic cruise mode for the majority of its flight, preserving fuel and remaining harder to detect during mid-course travel. As it approaches its target area, the missile descends into a sea-skimming trajectory, flying just a few meters above the ocean surface to reduce radar detection and extend reaction times for defending vessels. This combination of long-range subsonic cruising and low-altitude terminal approach makes the missile difficult to intercept, particularly when multiple missiles are fired in a coordinated salvo from different launch platforms. In addition, the missile can perform terminal maneuvers to evade point defense systems, changing altitude and bearing in its final seconds to increase the probability of a successful strike. Guidance for the YJ-62 has also been significantly upgraded. It uses a combination of inertial navigation systems, satellite-based updates from Beidou or GPS, and an active radar seeker in the terminal phase. This layered guidance allows the missile to maintain accuracy over long distances, even against moving targets, and provides flexibility to receive mid-course targeting updates from aircraft, ships, or shore-based sensors. The active radar seeker allows the missile to autonomously acquire its target in the final approach, making it capable of striking moving warships with high precision. The warhead itself is substantial, estimated at around 200 to 300 kilograms of high-explosive semi-armor-piercing material capable of disabling or sinking destroyers, frigates, and other major combatants with a single hit while salvos can neutralize multiple high-value vessels simultaneously. Flexibility is another strength of the YJ-62. It can be deployed from multiple platforms, including vertical launch systems aboard modern Chinese destroyers and frigates, coastal defense batteries, and potentially modified submarine platforms in some variants. The vertical launch capability allows Chinese surface vessels to engage targets without turning to face the threat, giving tactical advantages in both offensive and defensive maneuvers. Coastal batteries equipped with the YJ-62 create anti-access area denial zones, forcing enemy fleets to operate at greater distances and reducing their operational effectiveness. The potential integration with submarines, while not widely confirmed, would add another layer of stealth and strategic unpredictability allowing underwater platforms to launch missiles without being detected on the surface. Operationally, the YJ-62 is most effective when used as part of a networked targeting package. Satellites, maritime patrol aircraft, drones, and over-the-horizon radars can detect and track enemy vessels, feeding targeting information to missile launchers. Salvo launches from multiple platforms create overlapping attack vectors saturating enemy defenses and overwhelming point defense interceptors. Analysts note that even if individual missiles are intercepted, the overall salvo effect can be devastating, with multiple missiles penetrating defensive layers and striking their targets.
This approach reflects China's emphasis on anti-access area denial strategies designed to protect strategic maritime zones and limit adversary operations in contested regions such as the South China Sea or the Western Pacific. Despite its strengths, defenses against the YJ-62 do exist. Layered air defense systems combining long-range surface-to-air missiles, medium-range interceptors, and point defense CIWS can neutralize individual missiles, especially with early warning from airborne platforms. However, the missile's sea-skimming profile, long range, and heavy warhead make it a difficult target when deployed in coordinated attacks or in large salvos. The upgrades in 2026 have also improved countermeasure resistance, including electronic jamming resistance and improved terminal maneuvering to reduce susceptibility to modern defensive systems. The missile's impact extends beyond technical specifications. The YJ-62 represents a shift in naval strategy from traditional fleet engagements to standoff strike capabilities, where long-range missiles can project power and influence without risking large numbers of vessels in contested waters. It exemplifies China's approach to maritime denial, where technology and precision allow a smaller number of launch platforms to challenge more powerful fleets effectively. In modern naval doctrine, controlling the sea does not only mean having the largest number of ships, but also deploying weapons that can extend influence far beyond immediate visual range and deter adversary operations. By 2026, the YJ-62 has become a central part of China's naval modernization plan. It demonstrates how integrating range, precision, and lethality into a single missile system can dramatically change operational calculations for both attackers and defenders. For navies around the world, understanding the capabilities of the YJ-62 is essential for planning defensive tactics, fleet formations, and countermeasure development. It is a weapon that combines engineering sophistication with practical operational impact, serving as both a deterrent and a potential game-changer in regional maritime security. The YJ-62 is a testament to how modern cruise missiles continue to evolve, balancing range, survivability, and strike power, and remains one of the most important ship-based missiles in China's arsenal influencing naval strategy well into the coming decade.